Hello, everybody, and welcome to the worst show on the con stream. This is the last episode, and we're talking about sex tie, sex tie reviews, and we are inviting a shit ton of people. Most people who has been, ha have been on have been invited. Not all of them, some of them are cunts. But all the nice ones, like all the ladies, have been invited. Fuck the rest. Fuck them. And here we have Katan so far. Hi, Katan. Okay. Goodbye, Katan. It's just me then. No, I'm here. I'm just. Oh. Um... <laughs> Yahoo! I had to make sure my wig was in place because Danny DeVito needs to make sure that That's true. that the wig stays. That is it. Imagine the shock if they everyone would cry. Now let's see. Say something fun while I send this to people and say they can't. Something fun. <laughs> No. <laughs> so, bitch. So this is the uh, this is the last episode because I don't know we we failed. We tried. We failed. And um, yeah. So for those of us who actually like watch and 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 join us and like enjoy, like thank you. See, see, I have an idea how we can make it sound like we did excellently. We are just gonna say that. Uh, each season is an episode, so we have been running this for 16 seasons. <laughs> fucking, yeah. It's the most Done. successful show on the cut stream. Yeah. Most successful. But yeah. It, you know. So, it's... chat, any uh, last questions for the delightful crew? Today is the time. I'm going to drink some beer while we wait. Uh, and also, otherwise, People will drop on by, and the longer we run, the more people will drop on by. Also, otherwise, we're just gonna talk about sex toys and stuff like that. Whatever, actually, let's fuck. Let's talk about whatever the fuck we want right now. There's a mosquito in my room. <laughs> it's um, let me see, forty-five Celsius right now here. Oh, that's fucking gross. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Atama. I mean, Hey, sorry about that. I forgot to set my Discord to uh, uh, tell me when I get notifications and I was reading. I it's know. okay. It's okay. This is five minutes earlier. And see, we have first guest, Tamar. Welcome to the last episode. Yeah, this sucks. I was hoping we could make it a fun thing. Who says it can't be fun? Oh, I meant like kept it going because I really like streaming with you too. Oh, see, it's uh, it's easy. We're just gonna fucking move this stream to my channel. Okay. And call it something different and call it not safe whatever day. Or no, fuck it. We could we could still call it not safe for Wednesday. Country doesn't own the name. No. I was gonna say oh for wait. fuck's sake, but just change fuck to fact. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> real quick. Uh, Schmeckle, are you there? No, we have. Come so I was gonna ask you. Show. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Um, do you you don't own the name. Not safe for Wednesday, right? No. Uh, if you guys want to carry it on to a different channel, go right ahead. Sweet. See, we are carrying on to the seventeenth season being on my channel <laughs> next week, since every season is one episode. There we go. That'll oh, work. that's gonna. I would have to. Wait, and Wolfie is joining soon. That's great. Yay. Who is? Wolfie? Out loud. This is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. So, how but many reviews? It... Sorry. No, I was just saying, was how many saying... reviews does each person have? Uh, I have like 20, but um, we're going to mix it up like this at time. First of all, anything qu uh, chat asks we don't have to answer but they can ask anything they want and we might want to ask uh, answer or not so it's an ask us everything while we review sex toys and look at fun reviews of sex toys okay it's okay. a triple threat oh my god wired actually has a series of comics for the nsfw world of joy toys seriously <laughs> How you doing, Atla? 
hey outlaw, hey Wolfie. Hello, lady. That is some quick eating. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick before we start the show. It's already started. <laughs> the show is on the way. It's it's been started. Bring the microphone to the toilet. <laughs> hey, Wolfie, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Just gonna be an ass so loud. Don't I to that thing? Okay, so sorry, I was my ship was fucked up. <gasps> so what's up? No, don't apologize. It's fine. Yes, it has started, yet, though. Apparently, that's ever didn't know. So we're we're just ch chatting today with all the people who were on, and people. So what's replacing not safe for work Wednesdays or whatever? Or I, I don't know. Oh. Don't know. And we're just moving the show to my channel now. Oh. oh. My wife is uh, oh. home. I can hear that. That uh, delightful voice. Oh my god, yeah. Wow. I just saw the live button. Wow, I'm special. I haven't gotten a notice for anything for two days now. I'm kind of irritated. Same. But I'm probably like banned or some bullshit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Fuck those. Everyone is. I don't get notification for jack shit. I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't get uh, shit for shit. Yeah, I'll get it like two hours later if it comes up at all. It's fucking stupid. So we're... So we're, we're Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, Little Jim Boxley was asking what was their first sex toys ex uh, experience. That's a, that's a great... Um, that's Why a does great. a horse want to know? <laughs> because he to wants to show off his horse cut. He's young. Ew. He's like 20. <laughs> some shit like that. He has he ha doesn't have the experience yet. He needs to know what to delve, to delve into. Mm. That is true. Um... God, okay, I have to think about this. Hey, oh, I oh. honestly, I, I honestly can't remember my first sex toy. Uh, okay, that that's. Okay. I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's been can. like 25 years, so. Yeah. Okay. That's. My sister, say. my sister bought me a vibrator from uh, one of the sex shops here. Oh, that was my first sex toy thing. I was like fourteen, I'm thirty, so. Yeah, I, I was I, like fifteen, and I'm forty-one now. So, and it was a a, a little pink um, vibrator, but it wasn't. It was the kind you can use internally and externally, but it was tiny, oh. and I hated it. I can't remember the name of it. I've been trying to remember. I know my first sex toy was, of course, an, a butt plug practice one, of course, the small one, to get used to bigger ones. I've never had anything up my ass, so. That's... No, I'm okay with that. I'm okay I, with yeah, that. I, I figured you were, otherwise you'd probably shove something up there. I don't think... <laughs> I'm, did you see the bitching witches fucking uh, tweet about the the dog toy looking like a sex toy? Did you? Yes, see that? I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it really does look like something you shove up and pull out really fast. I'm like, wow, that's gonna go up my ass, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't all... feel a uh, need to comment because your comment fits so well. <laughs> um, I I can't say I've done much in the way of butt stuff. Never really enjoyed that. Uh, not a fan. Uh, no. no one goes near my ass. Yeah, me either. I have a perfectly I'm... good vagina. I uh, don't. I no, really I know. have a choice. No, I know. I know. <laughs> just saying, if you like butt sex, that's great. You know, I, it's not for me. It's just not. I, I find it painful, so thanks. I'm good. See, here's the thing, though. I don't know if I've, if I get surgery next year, 
will I still prefer that or will I switch? You're probably still going to prefer it because it's not like they're going to remove your prostate from your butt. No, but I, I've actually heard uh, and talked with quite a, f a few and fair amount of uh, trans who has switched completely and then 100% preferred the other and say not nothing goes near my ass again. That's like that's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Dude, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Like, female to male trans people, like, there's not a lot of info on getting a wiener, you know? Oh, that, but that decided looks awkward. And Well, okay, so my one female to male trans friend from fresh out of college or fresh out of high school when I was a young parent, um, he said that he still preferred both. But... I don't know how common that is for other male to female or female to male. Well, if I had a cock, I want to make sure it works. Nine out of ten times, these dudes get cocks built on them, and it doesn't work. Yeah, I, I'm not playing that fucking game. See, now I'm googling it because I've I don't I don't I'm so glad I didn't have to go uh, female to male, and I did it the other way around because otherwise I it's it's easier to dig a hole than build a pole. <laughs> Definitely a pole that works. Yeah, I mean, they can have this weird thing and a pump in your balls, your fake balls, and that's how you get hard. It's like, if I'm going to pay, like, close to $100,000 for a cock, I want it to work. And yeah. I want to and I want to guarantee I'm going to come. That's the other thing. Yeah, and not have to sit with a fucking pump. You know. <laughs> Two seconds, girl. I have to pump it up. Yeah, I'd be scared to death I'd lose my orgasm. Are you it's worried like, about that, Lou? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. See, um, I'd be scared to death to lose the ability to orgasm. So, uh, the doctor, the surgeon, the Danish surgeons, unlike many other free healthcare countries, are actually really, really good because they get paid a shit ton to make sure we have the best ones. So we buy all the good doctors that could go to Canada and serve shit. <laughs> um, fuck those. Good countries. idea. Yeah. So we have really good. It's just like there's a ninety-seven percent chance it will work perfectly. Like, whoa, well, holy shit. Well, that's good. At least it's going to work out for you, right? I mean, I fucking haven't... hope so. If I hit the three percent, I'm going to be a little bit sad. You got to yeah. dilate yourself every day, though, right? Yes, uh, so three the, times the a day. Do, the dudes do, or yeah, the dudes do as well. Have to. Fucking weird. I don't even know. What? Did yeah, the dudes have to as well? yeah, because the urethra. Oh, of course they have. Yeah, because that's also a wound for the first long ass time. After many years, it turns down to you have to dilate once a year, but that takes a fucking age. God, yeah, I don't want to. I'm too fucking lazy to be trans. <laughs> Honestly, like, I thought about it. I lived as a dude for about six months, and I'm like, nah, I'm good. Nah, I can't. I'm done. I'm too fucking lazy for this shit. I mean, I. Like. You have to get here in Virginia. You have to go a year in therapy and um, live as a man as a for a year before you get testosterone. So I didn't have to do that, thankfully. But I, you know, I lived it as a dude, and it was interesting, and it was, you know, my wife hated it, you know, but I, it, it helped me realize that that's not what I wanted to do. So. <laughs> Well, at least you got to find out. I'm, I've met several people that never got to find out in another kind of train wrecks. So, oh no, I'm still a fucking train wreck. That's for sure. But I'm... no, like in and out of institutions, one of them's actually dead. Oh, I mean, like, yeah. real train wreck. Yeah, train wreck. Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting into my. I'm not, I'm not going to get into my shit. But yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, um, vibrators. <laughs> strap-ons. Um, I've had plenty of strap-ons. Uh, I don't. I don't like them. Honestly, I don't, I don't like the the straps for strap-ons. Truth be told, they usually yeah, cut in multiple places, and you're like, really? What the fuck? Um, <laughs> My wife likes prefers it better than I do. I don't like. I mean, I like having it on. And you know, fucking my wife, but I don't like it the other way around. I I would prefer her hands. But that's just the amount of warmth to 
the human contact that I prefer over toys. So toys have gotten less interesting to me, but I've, I've also been married for like, you know, 12 years. So yeah, I've been uh, with her for like 15 years. It's like, you want the person more than the stuff after a while, the, the stuff gets kind of old and you, you end up putting it aside. We have a small box kind of sits there and gets dusty now. Um, uh, I, I modeled a lot of strap ons with corsets when I was like 18, never used them, but I modeled them. So that was kind of strange. But that you was the, excuse me, you, you, oh, you modeled. I, I misunderstood. I thought that they used your inside to shape it. Mm. Uh, and that, like, that's what, that's not what. No, no, like, oh I my God. Of them. No, yeah, I, 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 I in pictures. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I got it after <laughs> little while. It's like, it's probably not what she meant. I don't, she's not a mold. No, I'm not a mold. I didn't mold them, I modeled. They put you on your hands and just. Jump. Oh, you know they've got those where you can like clone cocks, like yeah. Oh, they have it with uh, yeah vaginas as well, where you can uh, take a vagina mold. It's like this is fucking weird. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I want one for my wife's hands. That's what I want. Oh. That would work. Hey. Yeah, that's. You what actually I want. might be able to do that if you get some paraffin wax. I don't know if I want paraffin wax in my vagina. In or no, around my use, vagina, I don't know. You use the paraffin wax to make the mold so you can mold the, the silicone. I don't fucking know, dude. I, It's so rare that we use toys, really. But when we do, we usually go, like, fucking all out. How, babe? Okay. <laughs> She's looking at me like, stop. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah, I get it. No, Continue. Don't stop. It's I know fun. you want me to make out with her on air. Yes, well, on because air. your wife sounds amazingly sexy. She is very sexy. She is Scandinavian, so. She fucking perfect. High five. Oh, she is perfection. Her uh, high five. Shut up. Yeah. Scandinavian five. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll take my German. I'm I'm fine. I'm happy with you. Everyone takes. Well, she's German. Finnish and German, so I guess that counts. Yeah, see, there there you go. Oh, that's actually a really cool combination. Yeah, like, her grandmother is from Finland, and her grandfather is from Germany. So. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty it, cool. Yeah, no, they're, they're good people, but, like, uh, yeah. That's really cool. Um, I really want to talk about them with strap-ons, but, you know, we're, yeah. we can. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> what do you guys think of cock rings? I don't know, honey. What do you think about know. cock rings? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Would you use yes. one on me? It's fun. It's fun. God damn it. Totally. We'll put it on. We'll put it on your thumb, Wolfie. I don't know what cock rings do. So I don't know. I don't. They constrict the balls. Yeah. Yeah. In the cock, and it makes them last like, longer. Yeah, it may last longer. I mean, I would. I think I would use it if I like dick. Well, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm asking because I've never had great luck with them. Has anybody else had them work? Never tried. Okay. Kadunt. I, I, like my first. Um, let me see. My first toy experience was with a uh, glow-in-the-dark vibrator. And from Spencer's, it? right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> funny. <laughs> um, funny enough. Funny enough. My my baby sister had gotten it for me for my twenty second birthday. Wow. Because wow. I had never used toys or anything yeah, like that, and I was single, and she's just like, "All right, you need like something because blah 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 blah," and like you know, and because I would she would come to me for like sex advice, which is funny. But she'd come to me for sex advice, like trying to be like, all right, what should I do? Like, there's this guy and blah, blah, blah. And he wants to try all this kinky stuff and whatever. And I'm just like, I don't know. You do whatever and then tell me about it. And I'll tell you if it was wrong or not. And she's like, that's not what I mean. I'm gonna and so she's like, you need to you need, you need to release some stress. So here's a vibrator and it glows in the dark. And I'm like, OK, that's fun. That's funny. Like, I'll, I'll take it, like, whatever you want to do. And, oh, my and God, so, like, what the fuck is that? 
That's apparently a cock ring. A cock oh my god! Oh my god! That doesn't look. Ring. That doesn't look like a cock ring I've ever seen. No, that's I haven't that seen one of those in forever. For some people who like uh, spikes and and teeth on the inside of the cock ring, so. so I was thinking the stretchy silicone type, but okay. Yeah, so was I. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I just googled to look at different kinds, and I found this one. I was like, everyone should see this. That's terrifying. Uh, that would really hurt. I mean, I'm sure Sh Schmeckle, are you? How, did you see that shit? Isn't that great? Which, Schmeckle ran away. Okay. Probably. Like the last not safe for Wednesday gift for Schmeckle is we're going to send him a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll just bomb him with them. Are we going to attack him and put one of them on him? Mm -hmm. Should I put should I put that link in the in the side chat? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh well. <laughs> that looks really painful. It looks scary. I hadn't <laughs> seen one in a long time. That's actually a fun idea. Let's Google painful sex toys. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I now I want to see what the fuck. Lo, are you a sadist? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you a mascus as well? Yeah. Okay. God, I remember when I could do that shit. I'm more of a mascus myself, personal. I like pain. Yeah, so do I. That's too much. I, uh, I used to like pain, and then I compressed five nerves in my right arm, and all that went away. I have like 12 tattoos, <laughs> a lot of piercings. Good. If I was a dude, I'd get my dick pierced. I had a good friend back in the day who uh, he was studying to become a piercist, so he gave himself a Prince Albert. That why would you? Fun. Do, why would you do that if you're apprenticing? Though I would not do oh, that for my own dick. Nope. It was part of the to get the certification that they had at the time. You had to prove you could do it. So um, I would ruin someone else's dick, not my own. If I fucked up. You know what oh, I mean? He he was really, really good at piercing and, and uh it didn't he didn't fuck it up. It's like nipple rings, right? Um I had nipple rings like a couple years ago. Sometimes you can lose sensation. I cannot feel a damn thing in my left nipple. That's my implants have done that. I've, like the lower side of my breasts don't have near they are almost totally numb. Yeah, I can't feel shit and they migrated, so no oh. more nipple rings for me. Bummer. Have yeah. you tried doing like vitamin E oil treatment or anything to try to rebuild the I tissue? really don't want to do it again because it really fucking hurt. I will say that was probably the most painful piercing for me. Uh, my, my most painful one was my, my tongue, but that's because he pierced my lip at the same time on accident. My septum wasn't even that bad. Like it, it's fine. Like it, it made my eyes water and that's it. But my nipples, fuck that hurt. I can't imagine a chick doing a clip piercing either, but you know. I, I don't get it. Oh no, I googled cock, cock piercings. God damn it. Oh no, this one Why is do you do this low? This one is infected with- No! <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just infected, it's baggity. Stop. stop it. Yeah. No, no, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, oh no, I knew a girl that got a clip piercing and she came while they were piercing her clip. So I don't know if that's normal for most girls, but that's what she told me. I right, now I'm looking at kittens. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love you. I'm not looking at kittens. I had to. I saw a picture. I'll never forget. So, ladies, from pierced penises um, to to kittens. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Uh, ladies, uh, what do you think about the internal orgasm? Is that a myth or not? Oh, no, it's not. It. Well, recently I read an article that, like, apparently the internal female orgasm is a myth. Because, like, a long time ago, that was the standard. Like, women could only orgasm through penis, you know, insertion. <laughs> now they're saying it's a fucking myth, which I've experienced an internal orgasm. Yeah, no, no, that's not true. Yeah, I prefer it's clitoral stimulation, however, but, like, 
internal, it, it's really good. Oh, I, I prefer both at the same time. For oh. for me, it's only like the it's only ever really been internal, like that I've been able to truly orgasm. Like you know, the clit's fine, but it's it it can only do so much, you know. Ooh, grr. I, I I prefer both at the same time, but I'm kind of hedonistic. I mean, both is always good. Like it's just for me the 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 clitoral the clitoral stimulation. Um, it gets it gets me started, but it doesn't like finish me off. You know. Yeah, it's just a step for me. I have to have the whole package, or I'm not happy. But I could be spoiled too. Who knows? <laughs> I don't have to come. Like I can just make her come, and I'm okay with that. My husband's like that. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't I mind. Could, no, I I will go for like six hours if it's what's necessary. You know, like no mutual exchange. Yeah, no, it's actually really difficult for me to come when when if the if the guy doesn't. Like, I don't know why it is. Like, that's that's usually like my final push into like, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't feel like I've had a full sexual experience unless both people or, or yes, everybody man. has had an orgasm. Lo, do you have orgasms? Yes. Yeah. I do in my butthole. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. So does the pros does a prostate orgasm feel different than uh, a penile orgasm? Yes, it feels better. Oh, okay. It spasms the entire body. Milking the prostate. It's really mm. good. And then it usually leads to the other one. You know, a friend of mine wanted me to peg him and I was going to do it, and then I chickened out at the last minute because I'm like, I can't do this. And my wife was okay with it and everything, and she was there, it was, you know. And I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it was weird. You see, I, I find it difficult to want to pick someone because... Or just fuck someone because I, I can't be the dominant one. I It feels weird. I'm a switch. <laughs> Honestly, like if, I can't do either. If a guy tells me, "Okay, I'm gonna fuck you," and then you're gonna fuck me, I'm gonna say, <laughs> "No, <laughs> no." Interesting. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I've, pegging has always been something that I've found kind of unappealing personally, but I always thought it was just because I'm a woman and it seems foreign to me. But I mean, I can see the appeal, but like, uh, it's not. I, I don't know. I get it. I get it. But yeah, sex toys. Sex toys, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I've got handcuffs, I've got collars, leather, riding crops, uh, cat of nine tails, I don't know. What else do we have? Life. I kind of got rid of everything. Well, I already mentioned that. I already mentioned that. Yeah, we don't, we don't like fucking, I don't know. We don't like fucking? That's fucking sad. No, no, no. We don't fucking have, like, a dungeon or anything. Oh, thank. Oh, that's sad, though. I just oh. found, uh, what's it called? The, the BDSM cross I really want. A den of, uh, what is it called? Den of equinity? I can't remember what the fuck it's called. The den of inequity? There you go. I haven't heard that term in a while. Well, I'm old. <laughs> well, no, you're not that old, honey. Trust me. You're good. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. Trust me. It's just I've been out of the scene for a while because I've been in a monogamous relationship for... Yeah, so exactly. Long. It's like, I, I don't like... I mean, we get kinky, you know, but... I don't know, like breath play. I'm really into breath play. I like being tied up. We have room. Yeah, it's another thing. Yeah, shibari, I like, the like shibari. We do that. Da uh, shibari is the best. That that's I love the, the strength. Like I could, you could remove everything else. Just do that. Then I'm mm -hmm. glad. My oh, life yeah. is. We actually took a class on shibari at an anime convention. 
Hilarious. Oh, you did sneeze. Oh, so you can learn the proper knots and stuff like that? Yeah, and the proper places to put them. Yeah, I've had stuff almost pulled out of socket. You gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. But no, uh, wife likes it. She likes tying me up. Which is fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's fun. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever oh she wants. God. She it's got fun. excited over a rice cooker the other day. It was great. Fuck I did that. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? When you start getting domestic. Yeah. Uh, I'm an adult <laughs> now. <laughs> I get excited over dumb shit like rice cookers and... Uh, see, when you wrote that, I was Passing. like, oh my god, I'm, oh my god, I'm old, because I get excited when I buy a new rice cooker. It's like <laughs> the best part of my day is like, oh, I a new rice cooker, I can eat right rice again. Yeah, yeah. I, I spent a hundred bucks on a, a multi-function rice cooker that can do like a million and one things. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what we did. We got one that does everything. <laughs> What do you guys think about the rabbit? I, I was not impressed when I saw it. What's the, the rabbit? It's the one with um, the dick and it like vibrates. It's got the two little like thingies that, that move. It, they look like rabbit ears. Um, they're meant to stimulate the, the oh, clit as one. it's uh, inside. Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, see. Oh, that looks scary. <laughs> That looks like it would pinch something. Well, I mean, it's better than what fucking Lo-Fi put up earlier. <laughs> this is true. This fucking spice. This literally has a fucking See, rabbit I, on it. I would not use those. That's too. That's too masochistic for me. Those no, cock rings. That's that's scary. That's too much. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, that's. I no, would feel uh, bad. I'm good. I, my wife wouldn't feel bad. <laughs> not at all. No. Some of these literally have a, a rabbit as the clitoral stimulator. They also are cute, though. They have a dolphin, too. It's weird. I'm like, I don't want to fuck a dolphin. Hey. Just hey, hey, no. Be nice. <laughs> you have to rape the dolphins before no. they rape you. No. But they rape? They're crazy. They're, they're, they're rapey. I, I really, I'm good. Dolphins they rape. rape so much. <laughs> they do. Dolphins kind of scare me. They rape. Yeah, we see them in the ocean all the time, and Layla's like, oh, they're so cute. And I'm like, no. Don't they will rape you. <laughs> uh, my wife, she's really funny. She likes to hug things that I catch out of the water, so. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Remember when I caught my first skate, and you're like, I'm going to go pet it. No, oh awesome. I love your wife. I'm like, can you not touch the singer? No, I'm gonna pet it. It's gonna be like Steve Irwin. <laughs> your wife is red. It was fine. And then I caught, I, I caught a little baby uh, black tip shark off the bay, and she walks over to it I and pets it. it. Yes, you did. You fucking pet it. And I'm like, what is this shit? Who am I married to? Fucking Doctor Doolittle kind of bullshit. <laughs> And he was pointy, like, oh, my God, that was a pain in the ass. And this woman had her kids with her and was like, oh, my God, why didn't you just kill it? And I'm like, because it's a baby and I'm not going to eat it. Therefore, it goes back to the ocean. Excuse me. They, why did you just kill just because you caught it? What the fuck? They wanted me to kill it because her children were in the ocean. And I'm like, oh, no, you know what? You should fucking kill the children. then." Fuck That's what I said. I'm like, oh you're in its home. Get out uh, of it. Yeah, home. you have to have respect for the ocean. And I was just like, I the ocean. Like I looked her right in the eyes and stared at her the entire time as I unhooked the shark and put him back. I'm like, there you go. It's like maybe your kids will get out of the ocean or they'll get bit. That's not my fucking problem. I'm not gonna eat it. Fuck you. You're gonna learn some fucking I hate kids. Fucking hate kids. Yeah, I hate parents that do that. That will go like, "Oh my god, you should you should kill this dangerous animal," even though we are living in its fucking house. Like you're invading its territory. What do you expect? Just yeah, fuck well, it. It's, it's, yeah, if it was like kicking it in my house, I would kill it. Well, yeah. 
if it's not kicking it in my house, then I don't care. Or if I'm going to eat it, it's different. It's totally different. But I'm not going to eat the fucking poor baby shark. It's dumb. <laughs> doop, doop. Uh, let me, I have to Google that now. What? what? If what you... poor baby shark tastes good. Well, shark supposedly tastes really good. Uh, it depends on how you prepare it. It can be really fishy if you don't soak it first because of the, ur the uric acid content or... Yeah, they piss through their, their skin. Why the fuck would you eat that? I don't want to eat that. But you soak it in milk, it pulls all the toxins out, and it'd be really good. But baby shark is not going to be any different than adult shark. Their muscle structure never changes. Oh, yeah, that's true. They don't do work like animal. It's not like veal. Oh, my God. I hate but veal. I think it tastes gross, personally. It's fucking delicious. I think it's delicious, too. Not, yeah. as, good as, not as good as lamb, though. Not as good as bunny rabbit. Not as good as venison, though. Yeah, venison oh, that's true. Okay. Too. And boar. Venison's my boar. favorite. Wild boar. Yeah, wild boar. Oh, it's so good. I usually get a deer every year. Or try I to. I want to taste bear. Bear is good, honestly. It's I've heard that really it really has... gamey. Yeah, that's what I've heard that it has the gamiest taste of animals. And you have to prepare it right, though. Yeah, yeah that's also good. what I, I so think got to... Uh, uh, food wars, the anime. I have to prepare <laughs> prepare bear correctly. Yeah, you yeah. have to like soak it in juice or something that has and vinegar kind of acidic to it. Vinegar, vinegar works too. Uh, we use vinegar. We use vinegar for the venison. We use water. Oh, we used to use vinegar. Now we use just water, and we change the water just to make sure to get the game out. Apple juice works really well with venison. If you're going to stew it, apple juice oh. is really good. Apple juice. I know, I never thought of that before either. Okay. Apple juice is really good. So. How about dick dildos or animal dildos? The, that that yes. dragon thing? What about oh that dragon? God. Yeah, that bad dragon website or whatever. Ooh. I saw that I, I just discovered that like the other day. I'm like, what the fuck? No, they are great though. Stop it. And I deal with me on this. You want one. I know. I do want one. Oh my god, what do you want, Kadunt? What do you want? Oh my god. Fuck you. I want I want I want the mang. She want the mang, the one shaped as a little tiny dragon. Yes, it's just the dragon head and the dragon neck. Purely for the fact that I can have it out like on my fucking counter or in my living room or some bullshit like that. No one would know. They'd be like, oh, this is a cool little rubber, you know, dragon model thing. Like, oh, like that's that's the main reason why I want it because I don't use toys. They don't. Uh, they don't sell the mang anymore. No. They don't. Well, I mean, oh. you can always put your dildo out on the fucking counter. I do. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Put that oh. bitch in the dishwasher. Oh yeah, but it's easier to it's easier to ha uh, put a dragon on there and explain that away than shove out a giant horse cock and put it inside. Just, just for sure. Dude, I was so worried. <laughs> oh, they was still. Like, I, I found it. They still the horse cock. It's it's just sneaky. It's right okay. right next to the horse cock. So the ones that I'm seeing now aren't as scary as the ones that I saw before. Uh, see, this is this I one I like had. Kind of like looking one. That's kind of cool. Let me see. This one I had. Then it broke. As of use. Oh my god, are you fucking serious right now? I am 100% serious. Oh. That is, a, that is a horse cock. It is. Urgh, I should send it one to Buxley. <laughs> that is an actual horse cock. Wow. Okay. Yes. That... From a pony. Hey, wife, look, it's a horse cock. I can see how that would be pleasurable for a man. It is, and also you can you can take it out and you could use it as a play bat and just slap things with it because it's big. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I, I, that's it's always fun to slap things. I haven't been. Whoa, these are uh, really interesting uh, colors and stuff. This is the one that uh, me and Kadan also want because it's cute. Some of them are actually kind of pretty. Well, so we have a couple. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. I was going to say, well, we had a, a couple of questions. Um, yeah. Someone had asked the, the, our favorite toy. Oh, like, what, what would, if you could think of like your favorite sex toy, what would it be? 
It would be Carl DeGross. My, my favorite sex toy is my husband. Uh -huh. Oh, fair <laughs> point. <laughs> really. uh, handcuffs. I'm going to send this whole character to Trivia now. He wants it. Lo-Fi's <laughs> favorite sex toy? What? Oh, I kinda favorite like sex toy? My, it was my old horse car. <laughs> <laughs> now it's dead. How do you break a horse cock? Use it too much? Yeah, you use it because I moved to Japan, so I threw it out before I moved there. Because I, I didn't want to take it, bring it in my baggage. I only brought one rucksack, so, and it it took up too much space. Um, and I didn't want my mom to find it, because that would be strange. That would yeah. be hard to explain, yeah. Yes. They have um, a tentacle. See, the tentacle you could just buy in Japan. Yeah. You could probably buy a horse cock in Japan, too. Yeah. An actual horse cock. Yeah, Probably. And, they're, and they're gonna call it uh, how to get your willy hard medicine. That's China. <laughs> yeah, that's China. They're the ones who like they'll have the tiger's penis or whatever. So that's what about you, Kadant? Favorite? Um. Well, again, I don't use sex toys. I don't like sex toys for myself. Um. So my favorite would be my flogger. <sighs> So okay, let's change the question to pleasure. Pleasure thing. Pleasure count thing. Everything counts. Everything in not just sex toys, but also yeah, floggers, whips, cages, husbands, girlfriends, wives, <laughs> dogs, <laughs> animals. No. See, I'm I'm incredibly small compared to my husband. Like he's he's uh, five inches taller than me, and he's like two of me. So. Um, we don't even need to use rope for restraint. He can just put an arm across me and hold me down and do whatever he wants. And he can move me around like I'm a fucking toy. So uh, it's, I, I, we haven't had a need for toys for a long time. So like we are each other's toys. That so works. For us, yeah, it's, and, and I'm really flexible. So like he can, yeah, it's a little different than yeah. most people, I think. <laughs> That's the perfect thing. I want to go and and just not have to use it anymore. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the, the the monogamous relationship thing is it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. No, yeah. I'm. I've always been a fan of monogamous. I've never not been in a monogamous relationship. Like when I'm with somebody, I'm just with that person. Um, Mind you, I'm always open to the idea of poly. I've been in, involved with poly couples, but I've never, like, when I'm with a person, I'm usually monogamous. Like, I've, I've never had multiple partners or anything like that. Um, or It gets boring after a while, to be honest. It, and it gets confusing. I mean, the closest to multiple partners I've had was a uh, threesome. You know? Yeah. So the, on this not safe for Wednesday, you guys get to find out the kinky bitches are a little more vanilla than one would expect. But it, it did um, no, not. It, it's well, tough. I'm not going to tell you everything. That's for fucking sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's one point, and the second is that uh, we don't have to be kinky about everything to be kinky. You, know, it's not like if you're kinky, you like all the things. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, that's for, that's for sure. If people and know how have... fucking exhausting uh, threesomes and foursomes are, they would like they would go less. Oh, that's impressive and more like holy shit. Yeah, yeah. that's tiring. It's a pain in the ass. It really is. And if you have two other women you have to deal with trying to placate at the same time, it can be yeah. really, really hard to deal with everybody's emotions all at once. Also, after too many dicks, it literally is a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> so condoms or no condoms? I have condoms until I know it's STD free, then no condom. And STD also in incorporates AIDS, of course. Yeah, uh, I'm all. Go ahead. I don't like condoms, but I also don't like having 11 pound babies. So I'll, I'll do whatever is necessary to not have another 11 pound baby. Wow. Yeah. 
That's why I have uh, the IUD. Yeah, I, I need to save up for one. The devil's tree. It uh, works so fucking well, though. It does. Like I, I have my, I have the one that um goes for about ten years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because it's the hormone free one. That's so, the one I like. Yeah, that's the one I, I fucking and because I. I, I don't like condoms. Like, they wind up hurting for me. I'm allergic um, to Especially latex. if the guy goes for a long time. I'm allergic to latex, so condoms are not uh, fun for me. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would suck. That would really, really, really suck, being allergic to latex. My mother-in-law's allergic to it, too. And plus, condoms okay. are, like, weird. I don't know. So, if, um... So, uh, out of the sex toys one doesn't have, what's the one that you would say intrigues you the most in, in like, you'd want to get one, even if it's not to use it, but just to have it? The one that has the app attached to your phone that's wireless. The one that's, like, the, the are they, like, the remote panties or something? They have those, and then there's one, I can't remember what it's called right now, um... I don't know, honestly, because I have everything that I would want. I mean, I don't know. Like, like if you just go on to like a rant, like go on a bad dragon and be like, that looks so fucking weird and interesting and I'd never use it, but I want it just to have it. Oh, OK. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would want um, I would want a proper like dungeon, I guess, like with the hookups on the ceiling and shit. Oh yeah, and on the walls. Yeah. I would love to have a swing. I'm not gonna lie. I would love to have a swing. I love swings. I've been in a swing. You know, it's like it's fun for five minutes, and then it it gets really uncomfortable. It's like trying to fuck in a hammock. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it works fine for me, but I'm also hypermobile and lightweight. I'm almost double jointed, so it doesn't cause me the discomfort. It's just, it's, I'm one of those freaks. I don't know. It, I know, I didn't enjoy fucking in a hammock. It was like trying to put at, like my Asher Glide cock into like, I don't know, a, a hole the size of a pin. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. And for like, uh, so you know how like they have the the sex robots or whatever, the sex dolls, and they started like putting AI and shit in them. Yeah, yeah. They 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 have one. Um, it's the because they have the female AI. They have like two versions of it, like kind of up and running. And now they're they have a male AI that they're working on, and they're hoping to be able to have released by two thousand nineteen. And I want. Like, I want basically a harem of customized male sex dolls just just for the fact that, like, every Halloween, I'm going to put one of them in because I have one of those giant meat freezers and I'm going to wrap one of them in a plastic bag with some, like, raspberry jelly or something like that and just shove it into my meat freezer and ask, like, one of my friends who's over to go and get me something from it. That would be kind of fun. It would be awesome. Like, that's what I would use a sex doll for. <laughs> I don't know. Like, sex dolls are like uncanny valley. Uh, it, it, it creeps me out. I don't know. They they all look like fucking mannequins. I, I, don't, I don't see the appeal. I mean, if you're into it, that's cool. Great. But uh, it's not for me. Well, that's why you get them customized. Like, you can get them customized to look like whoever you want. Yeah, but I don't you know. want some fucking mannequin looking bitch in my house. <laughs> it would be like Yeah, the fucking... mannequins freak me out. Yeah, like they look uncanny valley. That's all, you know, I don't know. They're creepy. Yeah. I I think it'd be entertaining as hell just to have like these you know, this this mass of of bodies that 
maybe not entirely anatomically correct because you know they gotta like they they're gonna follow like the way that you know whoever customizes it wants like dicks and shit like that to look but um but at least human enough and then especially if it has the ai like just imagine having it like tur- just you have your friend like go into like grab a coat from the closet and you have like this body that's just in there laying in there and then you turn it on and have it talk to your friends and shit i'm sorry i have really weird weird ideas that run through my head sometimes that that's that, that'll work <laughs> uh, uh, it freaks me out it freaks me out um i would just buy a mannequin then See, they freak me out though too i don't like mannequins i don't like clowns i don't know i don't like the synthetic human stuff it freaks me out I don't know. It's always been a thing that's intrigued me. Like it's getting closer and closer to like fucking Blade Runner, where you never know who's a robot or not. I don't think we're that close right now. No, but it's getting it's getting closer. That's 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 what I mean. Is is we we may not be there right now, but we're getting there. We've got maybe twenty years till we're there. Maybe yeah. we'll see it in our lifetime. Yeah, I don't want to be there though. Shit's gonna be like the Matrix, and all them motherfuckers are gonna be like, "Fuck you! I hate you!" and fucking ruin our lives. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a pessimist. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame you. I, I don't think there's gonna be a good, like, I think AI is actually gonna dumb down humans. I really do. It already has. You kidding? Well, I think it's well when we have automated, automated, automaton style AI. I think it's really going to make humans stupid. We're, we're on the verge of idiocracy as it is. And that's going to be the next push to being the most retarded creatures on the planet. The only thing we're going to be missing at that point is inbreeding. Well, maybe you're, we're probably, we're already not really missing inbreeding. There's plenty of people who do that as is. Yeah. I mean, my ex-girlfriend fucked her dad. Oh, oh yeah! I remember you telling us that story. I know it's a great oh. story. It really is. How do you end up having sex with your what? She elected to, like she knew the whole time that she was fucking her dad, wanted to marry him and shit. I'm not lying. Am I lying, wife? You have to audibly oh. say it. Okay, thank you. I, I didn't think you were lying. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the concept. My favorite story to tell. Tell it. Might as well. Well, there's nothing really to tell besides the... F- I mean, she... I don't know. We broke up, and then, a, like, two years later, I heard that she was fucking her dad. And I was with my, you know, my, my wife. And we were just like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Crazy. And I guess they broke up, and now she's, like, homeless in a wheelchair in Texas somewhere. And I just fucking laugh my ass off. Wait, wait. How do you break up with your dad? Fuck if I know. Dude, I, it's, I, I stopped talking to her after we broke up, so. Yeah, I, I would stop talking to that kind of bucket of crazy, too. Well, that was before she was fucking her dad, even, you know? Well, yeah, but I'm saying, you could, if that's the kind of bucket of crazy she turned into... That's the kind of bucket of crazy you want to walk away from and never speak to again because that turns into a stalker or something. Oh, I'm such an asshole, though. I kind of creep on her Facebook just to see what's going on. And I laugh at how horrible her life has become because she <laughs> made my life terrible. And I think it's funny that she's in a wheelchair and she's in a homeless shelter and shit. I think it's hilarious. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's That's fine. <laughs> Well, her mom's like in a wheelchair too and homeless with her. It's the fucking damnedest thing. How the hell can they both be in wheelchairs in, in Texas and not be able to afford a place to stay for the two of them? I don't fucking know. I just go on there and she's like, oh my God, I need I need this money for the homeless shelter. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't giving you any money. I gave you three years and my heart and you fucked it all up. So, 
Oh yeah, no, eat you know, a dick. You know, just avoid that. Stupid. And you're you're not bad. I, I I giggle every time I I hear a rumor about my ex husband who I have a child with because he's got diabetes and he's not taking care of himself and he's not even 50 yet and he's about ready to lose a foot. So I, I giggle myself silly when I realize that karma's caught up to him. So you're not alone in the smiling at people's pain when they do it to themselves. Oh my God. So, Zell has the best I know, question. I know. If she's homeless and in a wheelchair, does she count as public transportation? Well, her dad oh, certainly sure. thinks so. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible and amazing awesome. and, every, and everyone's saying banjo music and you know you know inbreeding bullshit she's from oregon oh my god so it's not me it's it's not you know that redneck that's not a southern thing that's that's just a crazy yeah she, a crazy. she was batshit insane literally yeah. So I laugh every time she posts, you know, a picture of herself in her fucking wheelchair. <laughs> like she posted a video of her smoking cigarettes and I'm like, you know, you could uh, use that money for uh, getting a house or something. I don't know. What are you guys talking about? I left. I got a knock on the door. Uh, my ex-girlfriend's fucking her dad, low. Not again. Stop. <laughs> So, Lo, um, one of the, what do you think of the, uh, the AI sex dolls? I don't know. Cause like they already have, they already have two like female versions. Um, I forgot the names. Like one of them, I think is named Harmony or something like that. I don't know, but they're working on a, a male version right now that they, they, they believe will have uh, released in 2019. I'm gonna say that uh, it's 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 interesting but creepy, and I think a lot of people are gonna get much better and feel real good instead of being so angry that they go out and shoot people because girls don't want to fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I, that's a plus. If that's not even that long ago, <laughs> someone went on a shooting spree because girls didn't want to fuck him. So oh, that's true. Yeah, so oh, are you talking not? about the Santa Barbara shooter? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that guy was also fucking insane and thought he was entitled to just get laid because he existed. Yeah. That's but like see, half the guys see, I know. But see how, how wonderful it is if, if some psychopath who thinks he's that entitled can go and buy a fucking sex doll and just fuck it and it, it can go and say exactly what he wants it to say. I mean... <laughs> I'm sorry, Zell said, Kadut, you already fucked up Lowe's programming by asking an AI sex robot what it thinks about <laughs> AI sex robots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am. Danger. Danger. Okay, then I want to fuck a sex robot. I'll fuck oh, a no. sex robot then. Error. Error. <laughs> if it's low, I'll fuck it. I must kill you. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> I, I will so. fuck you to death. <laughs> that creepy ass fucking Mr. Spell or whatever voice. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Didn't I know what you're exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Low hawking. I will butter you up and drive inside you with my wheelchair. <laughs> God. Wheelchair seemed to be a theme. <laughs> Really well, hey, maybe there are a whole new, like, different brand of sex toys. I actually heard of this one story about um, someone who turned their wheelchair into a sex toy so they could just roll around and basically fuck themselves. Oh, my God. I need to sex. She gonna Google that shit. <laughs> yeah. I have so many pages open right now. I'm afraid my computer. How to have it. sex in a wheelchair. That's not what I am. <laughs> and then on Facebook, this fucking post just pops up with this model in a wheelchair what the fuck creepy <laughs> well, I, I knew somebody who converted a wheelchair into a swing they could roll around or vice versa they put wings on a swing or wheels on a swing a bit basically that was kind of trippy 
Yeah. All these places mm-hmm. you could take things out and insert new things and replace stuff. And it was kind of cool. No, like the way that I guess the way that they had done it was they had like attached, I don't know, pistons or something like that um, to the wheels. So as the wheels move, the dildo went in and out. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, it's just adding wheels to the to the rocking fuck yourself chair. Oh, yeah. okay. That's um, my wife's into that. She she likes those fucking machines. I want one. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, I, I don't see the appeal. No, I, I am not going to lie. I could play PC games while I fuck myself. Because you're married. Because I can do that. Those are actually some of like my my favorite porn videos to watch is when they have just like the, the machine. That yeah. You that- turn it on and it fucks. The yeah. per- like, I don't know. I've always been intrigued by that. and, and Yeah, my wife, that's all she that, that she likes that shit. And I'm like, okay. That's it, cool. It, I could Weird. see the appeal. Um, I like watching the videos. I think they're fascinating. Um, I could see the appeal as you're getting older. You know, and your body gets tired. I, I could see that that being something you would be intru- into, but I, I just like watching them. I think they're fascinating. I don't know. I'm more, more of a voyeur when it comes to my porn, but then again, I don't really watch porn. I make porn. I don't watch Does it. it- what low? There's a question in uh, in chat. Did we ever get a response to under circumference of a mu- mu- moose? I'm looking. Wait, really? You're looking for the answer? So like, am I. You're looking uh, about how big a moose is around? The circum- yes, I am also looking at the circumference of a mo- moose. No, just animal now. So it wasn't explained to be the penis, so I'm, I'm looking for the, for the entire moose now. Uh, well, it, it depends on the moose, you know? Yeah, we, we are just going to say the average moose. I mean, Flash. okay. So the first okay. question to that a question is flaccid or erect. Oh jeez, <laughs> uh, Here I have um, length of 146 millimeters, diameter of 44 millimeters. Oh yeah, let me get out my calculator and fucking figure that out. Do you, um, know, do you know what I did on one fucking stream? I got a question. I found out how how what the terminal velocity of a puck is. What's the terminal velocity of a boob jiggle? I don't so think you can do terminal you velocity can. on a boob jiggle. No, no you, you can use you the can. terminal velocity of a boob, but not a boob jiggle. The jiggle is not an item or a thing that can fall. It's a response an, to the motion. What's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? European or African? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> Let's actually find the legit answer to that. New England clam uh-huh. chowder. Here we go. I know swallows are, ha- have this fastest straight line species in the world. What the, <coughs> the needle tain swallow is the fastest burst. We go to dildos to fucking swallows. Great. Yeah. Well, hey. s- some swallow. I mean, yeah. About birds. I know you get really excited when we talk about birds. Fucking ornithology. I didn't realize you were being serious. I thought you were. Oh no, we're looking up the circumference of a fucking moose. <laughs> I, Ooh, I, I have a question. Forty-four millimeters, so it's it's about let's see, three inches. Science. Science. <laughs> I'm gonna get an order in some pants. <laughs> Did you hear her? Some pants. <laughs> we need pants. She's asking if we're gonna order it some pants. Well, let's see how much demanding pants. Pants. She's demanding po- pants on a moose right now, and she's fucking laughed herself retarded. <laughs> yeah, well, when you give herself a tickle, the next donation goes to buying pants for a moose. <laughs> Careful and really precise with the measurements when getting pants for a moose, because you gotta watch out for that moose knuckle. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. Same. Wait, here's a that's another good question. Um 
wasn't entirely for you, but if you got an answer, then cool. But spit or swallow? Swallow. swallow always. <laughs> That's what I thought your answer would be. <laughs> I'm going to pass. Like, well, I don't, you know, if, if my wife was a guy or whatever, I, you know, yeah, I would swallow. I mean, I, lo I love him. I love him. Because well, that's a sign of true love. Yeah, swallowing, you know. Support lo fi getting laid, people. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> I'll suck your dick, lo fi. It'll be great. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Stop chewing! Oh no! <laughs> Exiled, uh, Exiled Luang uh, was asking if this show is the same time every week, and it was, but not anymore. This is the very last episode, so I'm glad you could catch and uh, kind of enjoy the last episode. And if you want, feel free to go back and watch the old episodes. And uh, Lofi and I are thinking of moving this to her channel. So that this way, you know, we can keep up with the kinky, fun, sexy, dirty, uh, weird shit that we talk about. Uh, so, yeah, I just talked with Tyro about it as well. And he thinks it's a good idea if we get uh, Not Safe Wednesday and all. Then we have three streams on my channel and there's three different topics. So that would be great. A serious one, a, a shit show, one with drama and this one. Okay. Okay. Um, we need to put your channel link in the description or in the chat then so people oh, can go god. oh god oh god i have to draw so much more now <laughs> oh, oh. is it called moonifest destiny now yes it's called moonifest De are you kayla <clears throat> no you stroking out you're all right yeah oh. i'm having a, a stroke it is how hot is it for you over there it's for, no. uh, let, let me translate. Well, you can just tell me in, in, in Celsius and I'll be able it's to translate. It's 91.4 degrees Fahrenheit and it's 1 o'clock in the night. Oh, oh my god, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck's happening to Denmark, I want to die. That sounds like California. No, no one, no one can sleep in the house, that's why someone knocked at the door, because no one can sleep because it's this hard. Yeah, you no, it was central air. We don't, we don't use central air. We're socialist. Uh, it's a country that almost never needs it, so they wouldn't, wouldn't. Yeah, uh, exactly, exactly. So that's it's. See, I would be the only asshole with central air in Scandinavia. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah this is yeah, but it's so unheard of that we have. This is the hottest summer we have ever had. So this is. Last time it was with just rain for an entire summer, nothing but rain. It's actually really cool here for the summer. It's like in the 80s and it's been raining a lot. Usually uh -huh. it's like in the hundreds and miserable. Oh. And I'm going to Texas later this year and I'm going to fucking succumb to heat. If you go at the right time of year, it won't be too bad. It'll be more like your summer. Um, Texas is pretty brutal, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, I am excited. I, I get to eat fatty American food, and oh, my entire diet will have been for nothing. It's perfect. Are you coming <laughs> to Virginia, you slut? <laughs> <laughs> not initially. Well, it'll be a fun exposure to loud and obnoxious. I'm going to Texas first, and then the second one will be to Calif so SoCal. And then SoCal's I could, different. Uh, yeah, SoCal's totally different. I have some people I need to visit there. Hold on, I'm going to address something that's being talked about in chat, um, mostly because it's it's exiled. Uh, this show has not been doing well for for Cunstream, for uh, Snatchcast, for whatever you want to call it now. Um, it's not been doing that well, you know. I and. So this is the last episode, but we 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 had a good sixteen uh, season, right? <laughs> yes. yes, we had a good sixteen season run, you know. And and Lo and I are gonna, you know, keep trying to keep this up on her channel. Um, 
And and Cunstream has other things on it too. Like you don't have to like unsub and give up on Cunstream just because this isn't on there. Like it's just the one thing. You have to realize that sometimes, much like TV programs, you have to do some switch arounds to keep it fresh. Mm-hmm. Every and show if, gets stale after a while. And sixteen and if, seasons. Yeah. We good. And you mean episodes? No, no. no sh- every season is an episode. Okay. Cool. <laughs> And if uh, there's a lot of people who, you know, don't like one particular show, um, then that's going to be the one that's going to get, you know, trimmed off. Just. There's no reason to be angry at anyone. Oh, Exiled wants to know if Lo-Fi is going to do, if, if you're going to do another show here, Lo. I, I might. Bernie. What I'm Bernie a, said, a, though. Of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a shit. <laughs> oh, I love you, Bruni. You're great. I might. I'm ex- exiled. I might. It depends. I need. I need. I need a topic and something to talk about. <sighs> and it funny. needs to fit with my Danish uh, schedule. So the faster you donate, the faster I can move to the states, and the faster I can stream regularly. Where do you plan exactly. on moving to? If you don't mind me asking. What? Where do you plan to move in the states? If you don't mind me asking. At the moment, I don't know Texas, I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh I wonder why. Oh, I, I know. Don't wonder. I I just got why. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows why. Go away. I know. I'll break your legs. You have to come here and do it first. Okay. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, <Lord God. laughs> I don't know what to Lord. say now. The complete <laughs> other end of conversation. I know. But Lo's got to come to to California to at least like. Yes, I have to. Me. Yeah, I do. I have to visit. Just remember, 95% of California right now is out of their minds. Yeah, but that's why I'm visiting people I know. I'm not, <laughs> I, I don't dare go anywhere else over there. It, it seems weird. Well, you guys could always make a detour to Portland. It's really close to Southern yeah. California. <laughs> <laughs> No, I plan on visiting everyone at some point. Since I I get a mot, I can drive a motorcycle. I'll just I can I'll get one and drive across state at some point. Who should rape Brockus? Says Trippy. Oh. Oh. Okay, because I thought you said it because my chat was slower than yours. <laughs> the delay. So I just <laughs> no should rape Brockus. <laughs> then it pops up. It's like oh thank God. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You know me. Oh. Now see. See, Trippy, I cannot rape Brockus because I I can't drive a van. (laughs) Oh, oh God. Okay, sorry. What? I don't have a witty comeback. I usually do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So sex toys. Yes, sex toys. I fucking lost myself for a second there. Sorry. Let's just talk about what we want instead of sex toys now. Yeah, okay. because like, fuck it. Like, who who fucking cares? Yeah, honestly. It's... Let's end with a bang. Let's let's get the uh, con stream under two thousand subs tonight. <laughs> 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 well hey we're the show that can do that like we're the ones who have been doing it i guess see yeah like you I, real talk though if we're gonna be if we're gonna just talk about what the fuck we want to talk about like i actually feel really bad you Why? know that 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 this show you know has has been doing that bad. Like. I don't. 
I mean, I I do, be, but you know, nice. I know it's not like I know it's not my channel or anything like that. But still, like, of of course, from a friendship level, it's like, but it should have just ended before that. It it's sad. It happens. Apparently, it's got, it's done well enough to last for sixteen seasons. So it's it must have done <laughs> something right for all these seasons. 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 <laughs> yeah. So just, yeah, whatever. Um, and now it's it's dead. So there's no no comeback. Yeah. You know, now people are asking questions in chat, and they shouldn't. It's not that and ask me anything. Fuck it is. I just said it was. God damn it. Oh, um, okay. So Tyro is, uh, oh God, is he's Tyro in Kuwait and he's a lo fi's uh, co host, like, uh, one of lo fi's co hosts on uh, Moonifest Destiny. I think do you want to do you want to add anything to that lo fi and that's, anything that's not what they that's not what you they want to know you should all subscribe to Unifest destiny so i have to kill god for lo fi no no why not i said tyro is god oh <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to oh be real god. oh my god Gonna Look, go. see, Lo-Fi's already crying out to Tyro. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> Trippy comes in with Tyro is the cock of the walk. I like that. Uh, Tyro's a, a rather clever guy that does a whole lot of interesting nerdy stuff on uh, YouTube, and he's he's pretty new to the scene like, like I am. And uh, he's cool people. If you want to go find him, Tyro Inchoate. He's, he's a... An interesting YouTuber. Should I put his channel? Yeah, sh sh chill, chill his channel. It's it's good. It's uh, he makes f good content. It's interesting. It's like uh, uh, that guy helped for the guild, this, but it's good. It's Lo is saying this, of course, with absolutely no bias whatsoever. None. I have I have no, no, he's bias. got a great voice. I'm not gonna lie. He has a fantastic voice. He's really fun to listen to. He's is really he, fun. To... He's Asian, right? Yes. Half Asian. Oh, I don't fucking know. Let us subscribe to that channel. Ah, uh, damn it! Every time I no, oh, you're faster than I am. Yes. <laughs> Probably because you're not using a touch screen and a touchpad. My laptop's gay. So, so you caught your laptop fucking other girls or dudes or what? No, I caught my laptop fucking other laptops instead of me. Yeah, see, that's true, Trivi. I don't believe that Anza Hero started proper villains either. How he's such a genius. How would he come up with such a concept? Uh, he is pretty clever. And he can do he all those voices and, and he can tell stories really well. You know, he is pretty clever. What is Trippy talking about? He has quite the pull as he well. Yeah. We're, we're talking about a a thing. I'm I'm gonna write in the hangout chat so no one sees it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Moxley's confused again. Stay confused, you're a horse. You don't belong <laughs> here. You don't fucking belong here. <laughs> Could you imagine a horse at a keyboard trying to fucking type? Shitting everywhere. Yeah. Oh, road apples. Yummy. Is it really? Okay. Um. It is what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I want in. Yeah, do it. Just get in. It's, it's, it works wonders. I wrote one sentence and I was like, stop. Oh my god, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm in. Anyways, uh, I, I don't, you know, yeah. I, I, I finally saw so sex toys, right? Sex toys. <laughs> sex toys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Bruni, the voice actor. Exactly. 
There's a voice actor. Yeah, his yeah he antihero hired him for the show, um, proper villains, and his avatar is kind of like a, a, a black a, a blackish guy in a hoodie, and he has been on state on record saying that he is indeed a voice actor. He's an actor. An actor. Actor. The voice actor. Was it was it Gutenberg or Tom P that said that the avatar looked like a pedo? That was Scooby. Oh, it was Scooby. That's who it was. Yeah. Sorry. I, I knew it was one of the people that were shit-talking that night, but there were so many. Yeah, that was Scooby that said, uh, what's up with the pedo avatar? I don't see how that's pedo. I don't know. That's just Scooby was just... He was just around. shit talking yeah, and exactly. it really upset some people. I don't know why, but I thought yeah, it was... so he, he threw around some things and then some emotions were triggered and uh, people flipped the fuck out and stuff. I'm not mentioning names. That so sex like... toys. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't sex toy. Yeah. But sex toys, well, yeah. Well, like Lo, you 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 were talking about like you had seen some sex toy reviews. Oh yeah, it's him. Do you have some of those fun ones? Fun. Uh, yeah, let me find some funny ones. Uh, I do have some. Yeah. Which I have one for a pocket pussy. I have one. External use only. They said challenge accepted. I said that was a hospital visit. I'd rather not repeat. Sit in haste. Repent in leisure. Let's see. Let me find the other one that really made me laugh. This one is just called Inflatable U Judy. Doesn't have holes. Choose us. Only good for heavy petting. That just sounds <laughs> like a fair review. <laughs> Who the fuck would create a sex doll without holes? <laughs> That's true, though. Only good for heavy petting. Or the dry humping that some people seem to think is entertaining when it's not. Um, it's not. It's <laughs> God, that's fun to do when you're like 13 at a dance or something. I know. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, I, I don't remember it. But then I got high a lot and I still do, so I don't know. Yeah, that's part of my problem is that I've done a lot of drugs in my life and I still like consume quite a bit of marijuana. So, And I've been dead. So sometimes my memory isn't what it used to be. So, yes, I am a zombie. With big boobs. A lot of really bad jokes can be made there. What the fuck did I just find a book for masturbation techniques and pasta recipes? Holy shit! In and what? It and it, yes, and it has a picture. I'm gonna send the pic. This is fucking amazing. Give it to me. I need it. Right. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I need this in my life. Yeah, okay. it is. I'm gonna force my wife to look at it. This too. is amazing. Il pastello di onan, ovvero come questa la peccato appunto. E per tenere la vista. Yeah, What is wearing it? a card piece. It's Manuela di Cucchiano per Pialo. It pasta recipes and, and masturbation techniques in one. Pasta recipes and masturbation techniques in one book. Isn't that nice? How nice. Why does it look There, like somebody colored that uh, mustache on him? Yeah, it really does. It, It, it doesn't look fake at all. Why is he wearing a lamb? <laughs> I, I thought that was Brockus at first. <laughs> It's no, the cut piece is too big. Need, uh, and 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 he doesn't have a little bunny ass on his head, so it's not. It's, and how to masturbate? Like how to masturbate while making pasta, or how to? I mean, it depends on how talented you are. I mean, you could jerk off. Let's see what the review says. It says, this book covers everything a single man living in Italy needs to know about cooking and self-pleasure. Do not judge a book by its cover. This is not about wearing sheep as backpacks or anything weird like that. The information presented is clear and straight to the point. It will teach you everything you need to know about cooking pasta, masturbating, or selecting the best ball harness to suit your needs. I used Google Translate to read this book since I don't speak Italian, but was able to figure most of it out. The chapter on flashlights is particularly insightful. Enjoy. Five stars. Okay. <laughs> like, like, I can't masturbate and, like, do anything else. Like, the last time I did that, I almost burned the house down. Well, yeah, but, like, uh, okay, what if it's, like, 
masturbating with pasta to the point where you cook it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't want to eat that pasta. <laughs> that would be like that vaginal yeast bread, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! Yeah, I know that. That's Why, shut gross. up! <laughs> <laughs> Please shut the fuck up! I will strangle you with my cock. Oh god! This is your pasta cock. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Man, get some sex flesh, Jessica Santos, realistic vagina and anus. Five stars. I had an ex was named Jessica, and this toy gives all the best parts of her without all the baggage. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty fucking good. That's a great. That's, that's a great review. Yeah, that's that's really fucking good, actually. <laughs> Did you see that hundred <laughs> gallon tub of lube on Amazon? No. Five hundred gallon tub of yeah, it's Amazon Prime. In two days, you could get a 500-gallon drum of lube. <laughs> My wife just said, fuck me up. Okay, that's going to be the most epic slip and slide of all time. Dude, for real, I, that's what I would do. That's what I would use it for. <laughs> I, really, I, I don't know. I don't know. I want the tub of giant lube. <laughs> You know what that tub is probably used for? Have you ever seen those people who go through like the whole um, cleansing themselves and then rebirthing through the vagina, like hippie, like bullshit? No. That, but no, you've... what is that? I'm scared. It, it, it's this whole thing where like you pretty much um, you stay in like this fake womb or whatever, and then you have to push yourself out through like this giant vagina to rebirth yourself and give yourself like this fresh and new perspective and new outlook on life kind of thing. Like, no, I'm good. You know, Danny DeVito birthing himself out of a couch was scary enough. I don't need anything else ever about rebirthing. Jim Car Carrey coming out of a rhino. Yeah. Rhino. That was pretty distressing too. That's great. <laughs> I mean, I love that movie. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, hey. that was a little, whoa. No, it was perfect. Oh, I keep farting. <laughs> That's hot. Too much cheese. It is, but it's because of the humidity and the, the current air temperature. It feels like shitting my pants every time I fart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I have an eight-year-old sense of humor. I'm sorry. No, it's great. Everyone else is shocked, silent, that you're just. No, I'm. I'm looking for a. They're googling things. They're googling that fucking tub of lube. <laughs> no, I'm not. I actually found a book of funny sex toy reviews. Oh, go on. Oh my so... god, this gif. Oh my god. <laughs> Low five. I'm gonna send this to you. Low five. It's on Twitter. Okay. She is easy to clean with a vaginal tunnel that terminates in an exit drain in her back. That is a review. That seems... That what seems... That? Yeah. What is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck are they... Are yeah, they... I don't get it either. Yeah, see, I'm a lesbian and I don't understand what the fuck's going on. How how made I'm for sending guys it to you. is this? This is just for guys. This is... I'm... I know, it's not real. I know, I hate it. Kadan, oh. check your DMs. Oh, gods. Her hands on her vajay. Yeah, but it, what it's the... Just, it's not no, it's not. Stuff. She's yeah. she's grinding on her thigh. I said it in a hangout uh, oh, chat so you can see. Because that's that's just... That's that's just dry that's hair. as fake as Harry Potter. <laughs> it's as fake as Harry Potter. <laughs> There's nobody that's getting off magic. there. It's real lesbian magic. It's real lesbian magic. <laughs> That's like scissoring. Looking at her, it's oh, scissoring. Scissoring is so not like. There's no way to make scissoring work. No, actually, a fr uh, a mutual friend of my wife and I is actually loves to scissor, and we're just like, how does that work? I mean, I guess if you had a two-ended dildo, it could work, but that's yeah, that's what I thought. But no, they don't do it that way either. And I'm like, but why? So they just slap. Oh God, that would be annoying. Uh, oh yeah, no. 
I don't know. I, I never understood it. My wife never understood it. So, I mean, Lesbos and Scissor or something. I don't know. Uh, that was a very odd. Yeah, thank you. You're um, welcome. Isn't that great? Nice. Yeah, it was like eighth grade all over again. Isn't that a great gif? Yeah, I, I'm yeah. bothered by it. Well, it just, it, it reminded me of eighth grade. <laughs> Please tell me you put that in the actual chat below. Um, no, she didn't. I will. I'm on the les boat. Like this? Yeah. On a les boat. I s we, not to break your bubble, but what you see on that gif is not real. Yeah, it's not real. Our lesbians aren't real. They're like unicorns. <laughs> Without the horn. No, it's a dick. It's a, it's a giant strap on. It's yeah okay. Mm. Sorry, I'm looking at this strange book. It's strange. Scissoring is not the equivalent of docking. I, it just means it doesn't work. Scissoring is retarded. Well, and no, like, docking with your computer doesn't work 95 percent of the time. I think they mean rubbing. No, 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 dicks docking. Together. Yeah, rubbing. Dicks no, together. not even rubbing. Not even rubbing dicks together. What it is is two uncircumcised dicks touch tips, and then you oh. basically masturbate the foreskins over each other. Ew. Ew. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's not happening. Foreskin. I don't know. <laughs> that, <laughs> you want to hear something even more gross? No! Yes. Space docking. Oh, for what the fuck? It's when two holes uh connect together and transfer something between the holes. Uh, <laughs> <whatever>. <laughs> I bought two of these things. One black and one white. I want to kill myself. <laughs> I bet that's what Schmeckle did. Schmeckle just blew his fucking brains out. No, this is why Schmeckle canceled this show. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking precious air time. <laughs> Tell him about sounding. Okay, so you guys know about sounding, right? Yep. Yeah. Opal yeah. So I'm, a lot. Yeah. Opal really likes sounding. Yeah, she talks about it incessantly. But she always talks about sounding rape. Always talks about how she shoved things inside a pee hole without consent and such. Well, it was her pinky. Uh, she steals butter from Jesus. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something wrong with someone who steals butter from Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> Steal it's money, yeah, I get it, but butter? I mean, butter? Why would you poop in someone else's butthole? That seems like a lot of work to poop. I have no <laughs> time. Why would you poop in someone else's butthole? Space docking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who would poop in someone... I don't want to poop in someone's butthole. Trippy, uh, trippy poop has to pooping in someone else's butthole. I'll pass. What I want to know is how is that possible? Because like, does you'd have to be like ridiculously constipated for it to be able to pass either that or the person has to have a gaping asshole. Or you have to put yeah. one of those cone opener thingies, the the sept the rings. I can't remember what they're called right now. You know what I'm talking about. They're like a forcep, but they only do the opening. Well, Opal, if you're home, hop in. Yeah. Yeah, Opal, hop in, and you can talk about rapey shit, and I can fucking stare off into space and want to kill myself some more. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I know I'm boring and everything, but fuck. No, man. you want to talk about space docking and fucking pooping in people's assholes and shit. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Oh, see, I'm so glad I'm doing something else right now, otherwise I would Google that. 
Yeah, I'm actually looking, looking on Amazon at Korean shit. Uh, oh, <laughs> Bumble torture device. No, Kadunt knows what I'm talking about, right, Kadunt? Yeah. Yeah. My weakness. <sighs> what is that? No. Yeah, yeah come on. It. No. Yes, tell. No. Oh, God, yes. It's so fucking gay. It's really fucking gay. I like uh, K-pop, like you know. Hey guys. K-pop and yeah, Opal. Hi here. Opal. You ruined everything. I, I, cool. I, I was sent the link. Yes. Like no, you I, weren't. Like yeah, hours I sent, ago. I sent her the link. Like hours ago, I'm finally home. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi Opal. I realize we're talking about poop, cause but could we not talk about poop? No, we're gonna talk about poop more. <laughs> I mean, we could not, but that's not what's on the it's, docket today. Nope. We're remember, uh, Opal shitting inside someone else's asshole is like sounding with poop. Oh, that's a medical thing, actually. Some doctors get put; they do poop. Yeah, they don't. Oh, yeah. Inside the, the doctors, other people's doctors do. <laughs> they they so don't. Some people's poop has good bacteria, so they yes. put the healthy poop inside. That's people true. Are they, sick. But they, Opal ruins everything. It's but they don't a actually thing. shit inside the asshole. They they have medical poop that has yeah, been harvested. One of my friends in Denmark he donates poop for money. I think oh I man, I want to donate money. poop for money. I would love to be paid just to shit, but like that would be so fetishized. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, it Get would. Get the fuck out of here. It's like, can I just, like, poop in a cup and then get, like, a hundred thousand dollars? It's poop in a cup. Well done. Oh, my God. Okay. Poop in a cup. Opal. Poop in a cup. Opal, oh I'm pretty sure there's a video about that already, and I'm pretty sure that the girls probably did make, like, a hundred thousand dollars. Like, not film it, just hand it to some creepy guy and then just make billions of dollars. Only forty nine ninety five a month. You can get poop in a cup. God, <laughs> poop in a cup. That sounds like those eighties oh, toys. Those so weird eighties toys. That it's poop in a cup. Yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> poop in a cup. Poop in a cup. Like, <laughs> you tried ball on a string. Yeah, <laughs> poop in a cup. By by metal metal games or some shit. Oh yeah, Mattel is still making some really good toys. I know that because it's not. No, introduce we know. We know. You know from Hasbro. You no, know, you have a kid, Opal. Jesus. Yeah, well, I, I have a kid. A cup. It's not like I like to look at toys or anything. It's it's totally because I have a kid. Okay, Opal, what's your favorite sex toy? Go. Oh god, I think vibrators. Wait, that Vladimir. What what video? What? Dub girl. He. He's kind of freaking out over the, I think the whole oh. poop in a cup thing or two girls one something. Cup is what he's probably oh, top girl, of. top girl, poop in uh, a cup. Don't that's talk girl about that them. In, up into the air and hits herself in the face. That's top girl. Two girls, one cup. Two girls, oh, one yeah. cup. No. Yeah. Poop. Top girl. Poop. Dude. Top girl. It, it, when that shit, came, when that video came out or whatever, we had a friend of ours watch it and she legit puked. It was Wait. the best thing ever. Opal, <laughs> you should watch the video. No. <laughs> it's healthy for you. We just want your reaction to it. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. All right, you, you, you know, Roy from Very Nearly Viral, he showed scat porn on my first stream. There, yeah, that was showed, pretty hilarious. He showed I... a video of a guy getting shit on the face. Oh, That's nice. Yeah. Did, he you know, show, know. did he show his asshole too? Uh, I mean, I think so, but I didn't want to look. I just saw shit and canceled the stream. Yeah, it was a good stream. Don't watch the <laughs> video. You're never getting a link to Not Safe for Wednesday again. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Do not make her watch that video scream. I made myself sad. <laughs> oh, I made oh. myself sad. No, no, no. Remember, we're moving it. We're I just know, we're, moving we're it. We're moving. And you're all always invited. What's that culture that likes sex? The Germans? 
uh, um, everyone, I mean, every that culture, likes poop, everyone that likes, that likes poop sex. Germans. Yeah, Germans. That's, Germans and Brazilians tend to be the uh, Brazilian fart porn. The, the poop. Yeah. yeah, they tend to be the the, the poop people. The poop and pee people. <laughs> what do Russians like? Snow and not dying. Melania Trump. That's what they like. They like uh, snowballing. Oh. I, I think they like oh. working penises too, because they have like what is it a forty percent infertility rate in in Russia now? It's ridiculous. Because oh, they're all drunk. Yeah, I see. I see a lot of like um, Russian bondage porn. Oh, so well, you can't penis. fault them for that. Yeah. No, like I don't think it's a weird thing. I'm just saying, Everyone like if that's agreed on that, I like that every single one at the same time. No. Do you, do you think they have to wear like jackets when they have sex during the winter? Yes, because all of them fuck outside constantly, and they haven't uh, invented the radiator yet. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. It's Russia. They have snow. <laughs> so does Michigan. Why don't we ask Trippy if he fucks or Trippy if he fucks with a jacket on? No, he doesn't fuck. He's diabetic. <laughs> I don't think his thingy works. It needs circulation, and I don't think his thingy works well. Jesus Christ, Opal, you're such a fucking cunt. Oh, like, his circulation isn't that great. Uh, that doesn't really matter. I know a lot of diabetics that are perfectly capable of having sex. Guys, they got the penis for so. <laughs> That's what's <laughs> <laughs> Trippy. Trippy, just, he's Trippy, like just get in here. Slow. Jesus. I know, Trippy should oh, be goodness. in. I don't Someone send the link to Trippy. God damn. Oh, uh, I have a question. Have you ever yes. tried to fuck a pile of snow? No. No? I have you? Fuck fuck a pile of... I have, have you seen... only... I've only seen, like, a centimeter of snow before. I made, like, a tiny hey, snowball. Hey, oh, Opal, there was a guy who did... A drunk guy did fuck a pile of snow, and he got, uh... He got, uh, what do you call... Frostbite. Frostbite in his dick? He Dark fucked shirt. a snowman? That was retarded. That's he good. Fuck a snowman... Did... Did his winky fall off? It Part did, of it. It, it got did, frostbite. Yeah. Right. Oh! The, the tip of it fell off because it got fucking frostbite. I mean, <laughs> if you want to get rid of your penis, that's a quick way to do it. That's not what he, he just wanted to come in a snowman. Yeah, I know, but if you wanted to get rid of your penis, just fuck a snowman and then go to the emergency room and then they'll get rid of it for you. No more No, penis. actually, it's a very so. slow process to have frostbite kill tissue. Oh, God. And he must have been Next really weeks. drunk. He must have been really drunk. Yeah. Or really stupid. Oh you know, my like God. the guys oh, that are sober mean. and jump onto cactuses. Now oh, I Google God. guy fuck snowman and I just got 700 fucking porn videos. I should, I need to stop Googling everything I hear. Kadan, check your DMs. It's me with Opal. Right now. Oh, what did I do? You I can't. Really... You no, what me. is. No, Seth, I want to hear, see, what is it? Don't be a, a secretive Sally. I already sent it to you. Okay, then you're not. So I'm the only one that doesn't get them? I see how it is. I mean, oh my also, god! <laughs> Kedun, did you watch it? I did. <laughs> it's my life right now. Uh, <laughs> low. I love you. I can turn in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me with Opal. It's uh, it's like the one thing that Bear Dog and I and I share is uh our love for for that genre. Oh God, yeah. Oh, what God. genre? I'm totally out of your fucking business. Why are you? K-pop. Fuck you, Low. <laughs> Korean pretty boy porn. That's 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 yeah. that's pretty much it. It really is though. Very pretty boys being really sexy and they are borderline mm -hmm. nut boys. Well, they're men. Yeah. Most of them are men. I yeah, they do. Like pretty things. Pretty things. I, I was more like they're very feminine. Five dollars to kick Opal Fund. Yay! Only only four hundred ninety five dollars more to go, and you have to donate too. The right link. And it'd be nice if you linked me to my PayPal. No, no, I don't no. For any amount of money. <laughs> God damn it, Opal! I'm gonna poop in your asshole. Get the fuck <laughs> out. Yeah, donate to this one. This this link. This. 
That's how you get rid of Ogle. Okay. This is really, I feel really bad. Secret oh, well, if anyone donates like this, I will actually um, buy am you I... something when I go there. Fuck. Yay. Atema, am I fucking following you? I don't even know how to pronounce your name. I suck. I'm sorry. It's too white Holy for Holy shit. Okay, no, so you Mesta... actually had it no. right. Thank you. So, oh. okay. We have some... Uh, I got $45 donation from Mr. LM002. Damn. And there's a text with each one, so it's time to read. Let's do it. Uh, which one is first? That would be this one. For the male viewers of this stream, here are some male sex toy reviews from myself. Tenga make great product at a low price point, and I'm sure he works for these pigs. My favorite brand of all sex toy makers. They're discreet, easy to clean, easy to dry, etc. They offer great head stimulation and complex textures all around. The only negative I can find with them is that the nukes and crannies in the flip holes and flip hole zero toys, you must make sure to clean them out by hand thoroughly. Flashlight toys are overrated, not discreet, hard to clean, and not that exciting texture-wise. Unless you buy the launch fucking machine with them, they really don't have any redeeming factors. The launch does make them pretty fun, though. Bad Dragon Masturbators are extremely high quality in terms of construction and the latex, however, due to the strict inspection process, most toys fail the inspection and have to make new ones. This leads to long wait times and high cost. Toys like Snowballs are extremely tight, even for males of below average good. So unless you have very skinny cock, I'd stay away from Snowball. Their lube is great, but almost too great. Expect months-long wait times for them. As far as sex machines for men goes, here's my experience. Some of the well-knowns. The Auto Blow 2 is shit. The fl flashlight launch is pretty good, but the flashlights have the problem discussed earlier. The Nobra Twin Charger is great for head stimulation. For head stimulation, the Nobra Twin Charger cannot be beat. It's made God, it's like reading a fucking novel! <laughs> And they're constantly on back order, so it takes like two months, including shipping time, to get one. But they're so worth it. I recommend using non-lubricated condoms with them. As the wipes are very intense and it helps not make a mess. With a latex tie cleaner, you can reuse the condoms for the twin charger. Do not use lubricated condoms with the chin charger. Ch ch the twin charger. As they use shitty lube that is bad for the latex and the sex toy. As far as couples toys go, I highly recommend the original Hitachi Magic Wand. It has tons of attachment for both men and women, mainly women though, and a very strong vibration. I'd get the speed controller with it as well to give you better control. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for the money. Ten dollars to the Kick Opal Fun Cut. I just got it. <laughs> Leave Opal alone. <laughs> Leave Opal alone. Oh no. Leave Opal alone. See, now, now I owe uh, Opal a ten dollar item when I go there. Yay. <clears throat> uh, Bear Dog, I put my Twitter handle on the side because I can't find you. Yeah, I followed you. Okay. I can't message you. Thanks for the in-depth LM002. That's really nice of you. Now you can. Yes, thank you for the donations. We are now much closer to a trip. Getting, getting low fi laid. Holy shit! Whoa, what? Holy shit, what? We're not going to acknowledge it. What? Have to you can't react like that and then god damn it. <laughs> what did Just, I do wrong now? What? I don't what know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, uh, Joshua, I, I'm pretty sure that Mr. LM002 does indeed work for some sex time manufacturer because he has a lot of in depth knowledge. Maybe he's a sex time reviewer. Oh. I mean, I made pretty good money just modeling corsets and swings. I can't imagine, and a few toys, but I can't imagine, and that was back in the 90s. I bet it's more effective now. Or more lucrative. That's the word. Ain't a good word. Uh. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, sex toys. Hmm. How come we can never stay on topic? 
Oh, oh here's the, uh, he has another one for Mr. LM series that you over the vibration speed, however, it can only run for 15 minutes continuously before overheating. So I'd recommend getting a few of them and switching between them when you get hot. Make sure to buy some natural toy cleaner for your toys too. Have fun. Oof. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to end the stream soon because I need sleep. Before I go to the doctor tomorrow and say, Why are you going to the doctor? Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> what? God damn it. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, I, have, I just have to visit my psych, a psych, a psychologist person. Oh, okay. So they can look at me and say, You're still decently normal. Oh, that's good. I mean, well, I don't know how that works, but at least you're physically okay. Yes, I am. I think. I don't know. I, I don't am. want you to get sick. No, I'm, I'm physically fine. Thank you very much. And, and I don't want any of your bones broken. Uh, that has never ha I have crushed one of my fingers once, but that's the only thing that's ever happened to me like that. Okay, well, I'm glad you're physically okay. Oh my god. Are you. Oh, hey, look. Is that trippy poop? Yes, it's trippy poop. Wow, oh, cool. Poop. All right, let's end the stream. Yeah. <laughs> glad. Hey, hey Trippy. Uh, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, this has been a great show. We talked a lot about the circumference of moose and pooping into its, uh, each other's assholes. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, that was and good this dream we have had Obo. Hey! And I contributed so much. You did. And Wolfie. <laughs> yep. I contributed so much more. And Atama. <laughs> I contributed nothing, even though I was here the whole time. Oh. Same. And and Kadant, of course. I'm um, the reason why we got canceled. Oh. And, <laughs> di and, di and diabetes. Hey, diabetes. Diabetes is not the reason they got canceled. Mm -hmm. super, <laughs> That's the diabetes. reason all your fucking channels get flagged. <laughs> I've only had one. That, I've never actually been flagged. That's true. Yeah. You got diabetes. copyrights like you stole diabetes sticks. Diabetes chips. Diabetes. Copyright. Diabetes. They copyright strike strike your diabetes. Opal, you should tell the demo about that pie that you made on the stove hey, top. Megal. Oh,